Today in the news, we got BIOSes, BIOCs, a couple of BIOS leaks, an emulator beast, and a fire hazard. What's up, guys? I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. Despite the atrocious launch of their RX 6800 series of GPUs, I know I can't get one, you can't get one, and the shelves are empty, we can still talk about the cards thanks to the people who do have one. Overclocker Maniac Derbauer recently made a video about the 6800 XT, giving us some insight into overclocking AMD's current top card. Unfortunately, it's more bad than good. While his Red Devil card proved to be an excellent overclocker, Derbauer hit a clock ceiling. To his surprise, it seems like AMD set a clock limit in the BIOS, which makes the 6800 XT top out at 2800 MHz. While he's not 100% sure that AMD set this clock limit, he says that he contacted PowerColor to see if he could have an unlocked BIOS, and PowerColor responded saying that they can change pretty much everything except for the clock limit. Seems like an AMD limit to me. This is a similar situation to what happened last year with the RX 5700 series. They also had a clock limit of 1850 MHz for the 5700 and 2150 MHz for the 5700 XT. Thankfully though, folks at Igor's lab created a soft power play table mod called the More Power Tool. That tool allowed you to essentially unlock the limiter for the 5000 series. Unfortunately, that tool doesn't seem to work just yet with the 6000 series. Hopefully, Igor's lab and its community can come up with a way to circumvent this limit for Navi 2X so overclockers can push the silicon limits. As for other cards in the stack, it looks like the upcoming 6900 XT won't have that 2.8 GHz limit. According to Patrick Schur over on Twitter, the 6900 XT would have its limit set at 3 GHz. Speaking of Igor's lab, the madman received two BIOSes for specific RX 6700 XTs. Diving into these BIOS, he found two clock limits. One of the BIOS has a maximum graphics clock of 2854 MHz, and both BIOS have a clock limit of 2950 MHz. Something else that Igor pointed out from this BIOS is the pretty high TGP. Reference models of the RX 6800 have a TGP of 203 watts. When we look at one of the two BIOS that Igor has on hand for the 6700 series, it has a TGP of 211 watts, higher than a 6800. Since the 6700 XT is supposed to have a much smaller chip at 40 compute units, why would it need as much power? For the clocks, of course. From what we've seen, I think that the 6700 series will hover above 2600 MHz to compensate for the 33% loss in compute units compared to the 6800. And no, it's not impossible. The 6800 XT has proven that these high clocks are easily achievable. Plus, it kind of has to if it wants to compete with the RTX 3060 Ti, because apparently that card makes the 3070 look kind of foolish at 90% of the performance for 80% of the price. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Moving on, did you ever want to play Nintendo DS games on your Xbox Series X or S? Well, you can. It looks like the new Xbox consoles have a bright future for console players and retro gaming enthusiasts alike. Modern Vintage Gamer just put out a video on his channel showing how to install emulators on the Series S. It entails paying a one-time fee of 20 bucks to unlock developer mode for the console, installing the Xbox One XDK, and then installing a UWP emulator to run pretty much all of the retro games that you want. According to MVG, the Series S emulates games really well up to the Nintendo Wii. Personally, I'm really curious to see how the Xbox Series X would fare. Link down below if you want to see the whole video. Lastly, do you own an NZXT H1 case? Well, if you do, the company is asking you to turn off your PC and wait until they can send you a couple of replacement screws. Why? Well, the case might be a little bit of a fire hazard. In the last couple of months, some users of the case posted on Reddit with horror stories of magic blue smoke appearing at the first startup. That's because the screws used for the PCIe Express riser can cause a short on the riser's PCB. Talk about a hot case, right? Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. To subscribe to the channel, stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. And so I flaked out, threads on my jacket blew out the seams. So I wiped out, bruises and blues and felt like a dream. Oh, I struck out.
You took me way past where I've gone You took me way past where I've gone